In this quick video, we will discuss what to do if the transmit scale of your helium hotspot is N-A or not applicable. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel, Eigentech. Alright, let us first try to understand when this happens. For that, we will go to explorer.helium.com and click on hotspots and then click on latest hotspots. So you know the latest hotspots are those which have been recently added to the blockchain. And if you scroll down, you can see that in most cases, their location is not set. And in some cases, the location is set, but you do not see the transmit scale here, right? So if you scroll down, there's a bunch of those and all of them do not have the transmit scale. It's mainly because if you click on any of, any of them and uh, go here, you will see that those hotspots are syncing. So the, those are brand new hotspots and currently being synced. As a result, they do not have any proof of coverage activity. As a result, the transmit scale is not applicable. Also note that when a hotspot is syncing, it might not show correctly on the map. So it might just show as a circle as shown here and the green hex might not appear until this is synced. So here I have another example where it is synced, but it is still the transmit scale is not applicable or N dash A. This is because even though it's synced, it has not performed any proof of coverage activity yet. So if you go to the activity tab, you can see it has no activity. Now if you go to all activity, you'll see that it has been added to the blockchain and asserted location. Sometimes you might see a created challenge activity, but uh, that might not lead to any earnings of HNT. In that case, you will still not have any uh, transmit scale. So let me show you one example. Uh, so if you just scroll down here uh, somewhere, you'll see if you scroll down enough you'll see one example at least where the transmit scale has appeared here so you can see this is the first uh, this is the latest one which has some transmit scale which is 0 0.40 i have already opened up this one here so you can see this has a transmit scale only because you it earned some hnt or it had some boc activity if you go to the activity tab you can see that it has challenged a beaconer and so if you go to all activity you'll see first say, see that some created challenge activity which sometimes fails the challenge is not accepted by other hotspots if it is accepted then you'll see this other activity which is called challenged beaconer and once that happens you will earn some hnt as a reward and once that happens you will see that your transmit scale is computed at that moment so the bottom line is if the transmit scale of your helium hotspot is absent that means it might be in the sinking phase in that case you have to just simply wait until it is completely synced and even if it is completely synced it has to get its first proof of coverage activity once that happens you will earn some hnt reward and your transmit scale will also appear in the helium app as well as the helium explorer to ensure that the syncing is happening properly you can run the diagnostics and check the blockchain height of your helium miner and make sure that it is making progress uh, for in order to have a good internet connection you can use ethernet cable if your wi-fi is not reliable and if your hotspot is relayed you can also try to fix that so that you get more proof of coverage activity so these are the tips to help you getting your helium hotspot synced faster once it is synced you can expect a day or two to get the first proof of coverage activity and as well as the transmit scale. I hope this information was useful to you. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.